Hello everybody, this is Lilian here and this video is gonna be my makeup routine for my everyday makeup. I know some of you guys have been asking for this and I myself find, um, find these kind of videos to be really relaxing. So, And on top of that, I'm recording this with my new uh, H1 Handy Recorder from Zoom. So, um, the bag was right here. And as you can hear, it's a binaural microphone. So, it's, um, yeah, basically gives me you know, more, you know, options to make better and different kind of videos for you guys. So, I just went to the shower, so don't mind my kind of wet hair. Um, yeah, so just needed to freshen up a bit. this relaxing as well as informative and maybe some of you can use this in your own makeup routine it's really all up to you so today I'm gonna you know be a little more <laughs> fancy about it um, since I am going to my parents later today and we are going to have a nice dinner and you know, just want to look, I guess, a little extra fancy because <laughs> it's Friday and, and yeah, but first of all I have to say that before you even start applying makeup, it's really important, you know, this is all my natural skin, um, this is not makeup at all. Um, and you know, basically my secret to good skin is basically to, number one, drink lots of water. It's like, you know, taking a, a bath for your insides, cleaning out everything. And then I'd say, you know, a, a really good um, cleansing routine is also key um, that you do it every day like I do my skincare routine two times a day morning and, uh, and, and evenings and then weekly I have a face peel and a cleansing mask and every day I start by washing my face um, with uh, you know some um, washing gel to freshen up the face get rid of any excess makeup or dirt uh, from my pillow uh, from the sweat you know when you sleep you're just yeah sweating a bit <laughs> at least I do and um, and yeah a good skin tonic after that you know make sure to uh, that your face is dry it takes the skin tonic and then you apply either a day cream mine has SPF in it because it protects your sun from, uh, you know, <laughs> it protects your skin from the sun, excuse me. And um, in the night, it has uh, extra moisten moistening, you know, hydrating uh, effects. So that my skin can, you know, have a time to breathe, to heal while I sleep. So, you know, and um, it's always really important to have SPF in your in your day cream because like it doesn't matter if it's winter if it's summer um, in the summer you might need a bit more SPF um, but still in the winter the rays of the sun are still there like even if it's cloudy um, so like in sunlight is the cause of 90% of you know, premature wrinkles, so 
that kind of explains <laughs> why, you know, sailors or people in the ocean, like people who have outdoor jobs, when they don't protect themselves, they wrinkle easily. So I'm just going to try and find my concealer here. Okay, so I'm going to start out with my True Match. Um, match concealer in beige number four and you know some days I can't be bothered to use foundation also it I, I don't really like to wear foundation if I can avoid it because it's like um, the foundation or um, concealer is simply lighter and just take it a few dabs under my eyes. Do a little even out the skin tone. I can also do it around my nose. On my lips. The sides of my mouth and my chin. And a little bit in my forehead. So I basically try to lighten all the high points of my face and yeah make it you know more even so I'll just use a dabbing and dabbing motion for this and make sure to be gentle and also do it a bit on my eyelids very gently So trying to tap this out, I just find that instead of using using brushes, that the heat from your fingers melts the product much better than if you were to use a brush. So yeah, just blending up. I'm gonna try and keep this makeup natural looking natural and fresh looking so first concealer step and already my skin is looking more even um, than from when I began, so my next step is to set the found the concealer with a the loose translucent powder, and this is um, from Rimmel, I guess. <laughs> it's just I've used it so much, so that <laughs> there's nothing left of it almost. It's 006 in warm beige. So, and I'm gonna use a fluffy brush. Basically, just take your brush, swipe it, and get some of the product on it. And I'm gonna go down my T zone from where I get most oily or sweaty. And what this basically does, it both, you know, mattifies the face, but like I said, it also helps the makeup to stay in place and keep it longer lasting. So, there we go. Make sure not to over powder. It can get, yeah, too matte. <laughs> so, then... I am going to start working on my eyes and I have been absolutely loving
using this um, a mineral waterproof eyeshadow from Gosh. Um, and it is in this beautiful silvery white color. I find it goes really well with my eye color and my hair. So this is basically the product. And you know, it just mix, you just blend it out and it just highlights your eyes. So I'm gonna use this all over my lid. And in the inner corners of my eyes to open them up, bring more life into it. And it's really soft to apply, blends easily. So, and you can also take your finger like I do and melt the product better into your eye. And this, like, it's seriously unless you take your whole finger and rub it in there this will stay on all day um, really love mineral eyeshadows waterproof ones so I'm gonna do the same for my other eye I also like to use this as a highlighter for, um, for under my eyebrows. So just give it a little quick swipe here to bring more dimension to the to your eyes. For the other other one as well, you can actually also use this as a you know highlighter for your cheekbones. Just because it says it's an eyeshadow, don't be afraid to play with your makeup. And it will, you know, make your face seem more glow glowish right here. Will give you a beautiful, nice glow to the face. I like again your fingers. Or my, I use my fingers a lot for this because, um, yeah, they simply melt the products into the skin. It makes it look better. So, like this. And I also wanted to add a little bit of color. So, um, I decided to use this. Um, I bought it recently. And I've been loving it. Like, it's so, so pretty. Like, you can see the color right here. Oh, there's my television. It is like this beautiful, dark, plum, pinkish color. It's so beautiful. Um, and it has no perfumes or parabens in it, so it's all good. And what I'm going to do with this is basically take it and apply it in the crease of my eye. So just work it in the hollows of your eyes to bring more, you know, depth to them so that they don't look so flat. And I also find this eye color, like, I very much want it an eye color that would, you know, complement my green eyes. And I found that this purplish color really does it for me. So, and then basically take your finger and start blending softly so that it doesn't have those harsh edges because it really looks horrible when eyeshadows does that looks way better when you have a more, you know, soft, subtle look. So I like this. I 
also going to bring it down a bit to under my eyes. Just swiping it underneath to bring the colors together so that it doesn't look so, you know, cut off from each other. And I'm going to repeat the process with my other eye. So I'm working it in the crease. Bringing it to around the midpoint of the eye right here and stopping there and focusing on the outer third of my eye. And again, blend a little bit. From the edges, and you can also use a brush for this if you don't like using your fingers. And then again, take the color the lower lash line and that's it for eyeshadow so let's move on to one of the other steps that I have which is my brows I you know I think I'd rather do my brows than do anything else beauty related like the brows are so important because they're like the frames for your face. So um, I have my tiny little brush here. It's perfect for sculpting brows. And then I have the Quad Eye Shadow in, from a Rimmel in a Smoky Brown. And I'm gonna select uh, the number uh, I think it's number one yeah number one right here has a good shade for my eyes because I don't want to make them too dark but right now my face just you know it looks washed out so I'm gonna try and start shading my brows I always start from underneath then work my way out It's a fine balance, finding, you know, the right strength or the right um, intensity. I do tend to make mine with a slight arch, like this. Can you see the difference from this to this? looks way more powerful, right? Or, you know, more neat. It's just more neat looking. Remember, like, your brows don't have to be totally the same, you know. Think of your brows more like, I think there's a saying called, think of them as, you know, sisters, not twins. <laughs> um, I like that saying, because my brows are not the same. But I also think, it, you know, it adds character to a person. So I don't mind Now, we only have a few steps left. And the next thing that I'm going to play with, or, um, you know, I'm going to do is take my black felt tip eyeliner and make, you know, a very thin, um, a very thin line and sort of, you know, elongate my eyes a little bit so they seem, um, they seem wider. Okay, so what I always do is I start from, you know, 
you can't see it here right now but I always start from the inner corners and work my way out so sorry you can't see right now And try and close your eye like this. You're a real pro. So like this, and you have a sort of, not cat eye look, but a, um, yeah, it just looks pretty with a little wing. I like it. So if you don't like this look, you can not, you know, just not make the wing. It's up to you. So next steps we have, we have three steps left. your lashes and if you are afraid of this um, I would just tell you I was afraid of it too in the beginning but not that bad just give it a few squeezes and your eyelashes will be perky and ready for mascara. In this case, I'm using Scandal Eyes by Rimmel. It was on sale, so I decided to buy it and test it out. And it has a really, really long, um, big brush. So. I tend to go in and blink downwards as I, you know, swipe it like this. Tends to separate the lashes. Sorry, I need to I've gone through a lot of mascaras, but I have to say, like, I definitely think Lancome makes some of the best. So, like this. I'm also going to treat my bottom lashes, but I'm going to try and be careful because um, this look is all about, you know being fresh so if you start adding too much mascara underneath the eyes it'll look heavier so I'm just gonna try and to be careful here but a little bit looks cute And then, you know, you can see it like frames the eye more. So. And by the way, it's a real challenge not to look weird when you do your makeup. Really weird. I'm gonna add a second coat to my mascara just because I like it. I like big lashes. Of course.
course, if you don't like that, you can always just give them one coat, but I find that But I just find that um, this definitely creates more drama, creates le length, and that's really what I like. So that's it for mascara. I hope you like the look so far. And the last step that we have is blush. Now, I really love this color because um, it's from Yves Saint Laurent and uh, yeah, basically this was my mother's but she never used it so I thought I'd just snag it. <laughs> um, it has this beautiful coral color. So take your brush and I'm gonna try and put it right on my cheeks for that sweet look. And one tip about makeup, never overdo the blush. Never. A little will get you a long way. So, this was my makeup tutorial on how to do your everyday makeup or how I do mine and what I always finish off with is it's not makeup but it is my favorite perfume it's um, Prada Milano it smells so good when mm. so I always end my makeup by smelling delicious. And now the look is complete. So now you're ready to head off to your day. And um, yeah, I wish you the best of luck with this look if you want to try it out. So uh, take good care and I'll see you again soon guys. Bye bye.